Hi guys, this is Dean. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on ceramic coating. Um, now, I've, I've done the other side of the vehicle. I'm not, I'm not going to show you. Um, we're just going to concentrate on this side. Um, and you really don't need to be paying, you know, hundreds and hundreds. I mean, I was quoted, um, it was like 800 pounds plus VAT. So, you know, nearly a thousand pounds. And, you know, it's, it's something you can do yourself at home with the right products. Um, and time you've got to spend time with it the longer you spend preparing the paintwork for the ceramic coating the better the finish um you know and if you have a, you know a car that's your pride and joy and you want it to look the best um take your time with it it's um it's a really satisfying job to do um i'm not a guy who likes to sort of shell out money you know when i don't need to so um yeah this is my car it's a ferrari 360 um f1 so um yeah so i mean the video doesn't really sort of show the imperfections in the paintwork um it does look you know like it's been done but when you kind of get up close you can see um sort of uh, micro scratches there you go in the paint now we're just going to do this rear quarter here um so we can compare the two panels you know we have a good good line here to separate the two panels so um when doing ceramic coating you really want to concentrate on one sort of panel at a time and the 360 it's you know it there are big panels on the car you know this this quarter goes into the roof to the other side so um but i've already sort of done sort of around this area so i know where i'm at um so yeah so uh let's get to it Okay, so the products I'm going to be using are um, from Autoglim. Um, now I, I had to buy these um, these kits in, in two lots. Basically you have the ceramic coating stages, which are there, and the prep stages, which are these two, which are the, um, the clay bar and the super resin uh, polish. Now, the idea of the clay bar is to, um, basically you're, you're getting all the, the sort of the rough, the rough and out of the paint. Um, so you, you, you kind of get that glass feel. Um, you know, we want to get this, this paintwork as clean and as smooth as possible before we seal it. Um, so it, it's a kind of scary process because you, you kind of sort of dull the lacquer um, and then we have to sort of bring it back up. Um, so you, you kind of go backwards before you go forwards, but we'll get into that now and, and you'll be able to see um, during the process what happens. Um, yeah, so uh, let's get to the first stage and um, a quick few tips before we start. Um, make sure you're, you're wearing sort of um, no sort of dusty clothes, you know, you know, try and have some clean sort of clothes on. Not your best, obviously, but, you know, we don't want no contaminants in our work. Um, we want to be as clean as possible, you know, give your hands a good clean. Make sure, you know, there's no oil or, you know, silicones on your, you know, on your hand. Um, and also, you know, with this kit, it does come in new microfiber cloths. Um, if you're not using these products, I do urge you buy, you know, some new ones and, and don't mix them up in stages. Um, I'll explain that a bit later. Um, so yeah, let's let's get to the first stage and show you um, how the process works. Okay, so right, here we are at the car. Um, I've got myself a stool, so I'm in no rush to do this at all, so I'm going to be as comfortable as possible. Um, the the key here is just not to rush. Take your time. This is you know your pride and joy. You know we want this your, your best you can do it. So um, right. So the, so the first stage we want to get to the the clay bar, and we just want to break off. Now this is like just like a putty, so you kind of need sort of need to knead it into sort of the size of a two pound coin or something like a big a big large coin and what we're gonna do is we're gonna with the rapid detailer we're gonna get the panel wet now it's important to keep this panel wet so that this this clay bar just slides over the car nice and freely and you kind of want to do the whole panel you don't need to apply pressure you just nice and lightly so you can feel it real smooth i mean this car's really not really that bad 
as in, you know, there's no sort of, you know, bad rough bits on the paint, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to do it again. And you can kind of feel when the clay bar picks up some rough bits, you can you can hear it. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna carry on do the rest of this panel um, and then show you the next stage. Um, and I don't know if you can hear that as it glides over the paint, it's, it kind of feels rough, so I know it's it's working. Now, it's important to keep sort of kneading this. You know, you wanna get a fresh, a fresh bit every time. Um, and just keep that, that panel nice and wet. And just, just keep going over very lightly. And you don't need to rush. It's kind of satisfying just to feel how smooth the paint goes after using this. Okay, so I've spent probably half an hour clay barring this, this panel. Um, and that, that bit of clay you've used, chuck that away, that's no good, you can't reuse it. Um, so as you can see, the panel's a bit wet, so I'm just gonna wipe it down and you'll see the difference in the paintwork when it's dry and you'll see it it goes really faded and you kind of think you know oh my god what have i done but it's kind of part of the process so you just just go with it um i was kind of scared when i done it um i was kind of thinking i'd, I'd done it wrong but um it's only the, the, the lacquer, the clear coat, um, which you are, um, you know, you're flattening off and getting the contaminants out of, out the out the, the clear coat. So um, I'm just going to dry this off and then we will give it a high resin polish um, to, to bring that shine back up. Um, let's just... Um, and you'll really see by using this clay bar um, how much sort of you know foreign bodies are on your your paintwork. Um, you can feel the roughness when you use it. Um, so that, you know when when you get this car finished and it's out in the light, it will look unbelievable. Now I don't know if you can kind of see it kind of. The video doesn't really do it justice, but it has, you know, kind of faded. Um, you kind of look and you, you kind of think, oh, you're kind of disappointed um, of how it looks, but you know, this is this is far from done. This is this is not the nowhere near the, the, the finished piece. Um, I don't know if you can see, you know, but this this, this paintwork is is, you know glass smooth um, but you know we're, we're gonna get that ten times better than this so uh, yeah uh, on to the next stage okay so so the next stage we are, are going to use this it's the super resin polish um, and this is this is gonna you know bring you know make this paintwork pop um, you know the ceramic coating obviously that does give it that wet look but really the purpose of the ceramic coating is to seal the paintwork. You know, it gets in all those micro micro scratches. It seals the paintwork. So we, you know, we want to make this um, paintwork as, you know, we want a deep polish because we want to seal that. So, um, you know, this, I highly rate this stuff. It is, it's not the cheapest, but you get what you pay for. Um, you know, if it, your car's your pride and joy, you know, why not spend some money on it, you know? it's you know it, it's a good product so i highly recommend it um and obviously you, you know we're going to use a new microfiber very important we don't want to sort of mix microfibers because you know the last one had the clay bar residue which we don't want that in the polish so yeah i'm gonna kind of I'm gonna, you don't really want to watch me polish it but i'll um 
I'll just show you the process. So you just kind of, you don't need a lot. It goes a long way. So kind of like a dab on the microfiber. And we're just gonna go over the panel in a circular motion. You know, take your time, there's no rush here. The longer you spend doing this, the better the outcome. Okay, so that's the panel polished. Obviously, I'm gonna buff it off. Um, again, it's probably took me sort of 15 minutes to give it a good a good hand polish. And now we're just gonna go over and we're gonna take this polish off and that will leave us with a, a really, really deep shine. should be able to see that shine coming up already you know this is what we're going to be sealing so you know if you're not happy and you you know you think it needs you know another polish or you need to spend a bit more time with it just just redo it it's, it's fine the longer you spend the the better the outcome now you want to make sure you get all this polish off. And already you can see the difference between, between the two panels. You know, most people will be happy leaving their car, you know, like this, you know, that is a absolute gleaming panel. You know, it really is satisfying to do this yourself, you know. If you want to spend a thousand pounds, I kind of think it's overpriced. I mean, I think because of the, the car it is, I think maybe they've tried to, maybe think I've got money to waste, but I'm a guy that likes to do things himself, get self-satisfaction out of the job. Um, and it, all, it really is not that hard to do. Um, like I say, it's whether you have the time to do it, and well, as you can see, it's dark outside, and kind of doing it in my own time, so it's kind of worth worth the effort for me. So, right, so that's a polish off the car, and as you can see, that that red is really, really popping. As you can see, the, the I haven't done the tailgate. And you can see the difference. Let's get a bit off that. So yeah, that's that stage. Um, now we're going to prepare the panel for the ceramic coating, and this is just get any last sort of silicones out of the paint before we before we seal it with the ceramic coating. Um, so yeah, let's go to the next stage. So this stage, um, we're going to use the um, Autoglim Ultra High Definition Preparation Solution. Um, and again, a new microfiber cloth. Um, and we're just going to get any any sort of dirt we've missed or that sort of, you know, got on the paint while we've, you know, left it alone for a couple of minutes. Um, it's, you know, it's an important process, otherwise the ceramic coating won't take. Um, you know, it's not the cheapest product, so we want to kind of get it, get it right the first time. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to just undo the solution, and we're just going to put a bit on the cloth. And what we're going to do is we're going to just wipe over the panel, and you can kind of see it going wet. So we can kind of see what area we've we've done, and it's kind of got a, a sort of a, a it almost smells like thinners, but it's not thinners. Um, just 
just make sure you get in all the all of the panel you haven't got to go crazy this is just to get any bits we've we may have missed and then kind of sort of dry it off with the other side of the cloth It's a bit like when you you kind of paint the car, you you degrease it before you you prime or paint. You don't want any any silicones on that paintwork, otherwise it's kind of gonna ruin your hard work. good okay so that's the the panel wiped down ready for the ceramic coating so we're going to give that a couple of minutes to dry and then uh onto the ceramic coating which is the fun part and you know what what we've kind of been working towards so yeah so here we are the final stage of the process um and the product we are using again is made by autoglim and it's the ultra high definition range. Um, now this stuff, you know, I highly rate it is, you know, it's not the cheapest. I think I paid 45 pounds um, in dollars, maybe 60, 60 dollars, I guess, um, but worth every penny. So it comes with obviously the, the ceramic coating solution, um, comes with microfiber cloth, that's for the, the buffing, um, but it comes with this um, applicator pad um yeah it's nice and easy to use um right so what we're going to do we're going to get some solution and we're just going to pour it on the pad you don't need loads it, it does go a long way and what we're going to do we're not going to we're not going to push hard and we're going to start at the back of the car and we're just going to just glide it over the car and then back and we're just going to Go over the panel. You don't need to press hard. We just need a good, good coverage in the same forward motion. We don't really want to crisscross. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's some guys out there who are going to tell me you do need to crisscross it. But this is this is what works for me. Um, this is how I've done it. And you can kind of see it goes on like a. Um, it's kind of weird how it goes on. It's a weird sort of film um gonna make sure you you get in everywhere and if you feel it's going a bit dry just go back and put a little bit more on you don't need loads it really does go a long way um, and again just like a nice motion You can see the sort of the lines of where you've where you've applied it. So you, it's really hard to sort of miss any bits. And if you see some dry sections, just you can just go over. Kind of sort of stand back, just look for any sort of dry areas you may have missed. And obviously, we're not going to do this door. You know, we want to. Compare the, the both at the end of the process. I'm just going to go for a little bit, a little bit more. You can kind of see bits you've maybe missed, and just just give it a light. You don't need much pressure. got a good coverage there now you kind of just when it's done you need to kind of sort of walk away and just leave it and you you need to sort of leave it maybe sort of three four minutes um 
So yeah, I'm gonna wait three, four minutes and then we need to, to buff it off. And you, you kind of see in the in the paint, it's, it kind of looks like it's, it's sort of like um, pickling. Almost like if you have a bad paint job and there's silicones in the paint. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's really weird. It's like I've, it's like it's been coated in grease. That's the only way I can describe it. Um, yeah, so we we'll give it a few minutes, and then uh, we'll buff it off and see what we're left with. Okay, so that's been around about sort of three, four minutes, um, and now we're gonna buff off the ceramic coating or the excess that's, that's what's on there. So we have a new microfiber. Again, important not to use the ones we've used previous. Um, very important. So here we go. Now it kind of feels like you're spreading across the panel, but it's, it's just taking the excess off. And not long and you'll see the the final you know we're gonna get that deep wet look. Should be able to see me in the panel now. There you go. The process is working. You kind of turn the, the cloth over, use a fresh part of the cloth. Make sure you got in all, all the areas. Because if you do leave it on too long, it is it is harder. Well, it's harder to get the excess off. I think we're about done with this with this panel. So yeah, so there you go. Maybe you guys can't see a difference. I don't know. I definitely can from here. And if we compare these two panels now. You know, that is night and day. I hope this video helps. Um, this is just the way I do it. Um, maybe there's some guys out there with some better techniques or maybe you can let me know if I've done something wrong um, but I'm definitely happy with the outcome of this compared to this panel um, you know it really has a lot of imperfections in the paint whereas this quarter really is absolutely flawless now you know the gloss has got that wet look that was 
kind of hoping for. And you can compare between the tailgate and this rear quarter. So yeah, there you go guys. Um, hope that helps. Um, any questions, um, anything I've missed, um, feel free to, to comment or message me. Um, or like I say, any, any tips people can give me if I've done it wrong. Um, criticism always welcome. Um, I'm not saying I've done this 100% the right way, but this is the way the instructions have told me. So, um, yeah. Thank you.